If I say, angels take it away in the mighty name of Jesus, or Jesus take it away, then they would go. So what happened? So I, the first time when I did it, the, the monster that was there disappeared and it would always work. So he say a monster came to him and he had to say, what did you say? I said, angels take it away in the mighty name of Jesus. And it left. So he used to feel scared and he used to see stuff and after a while he stopped and then he'd have bad dreams and he would feel something and and he said no. He he just started saying Jesus. If they hate when you say Jesus. And you tell him you go and point at it and say you go in Jesus name. This is my house. You leave. And you have to tell him and those things they're scared of you. They don't like you. they don't like the fact that you guys have Jesus in your heart. Do you guys have Jesus in your heart? Yes. You know Jesus, right? Well, all, Jesus has power and authority. And he gave you power and he gave you authority. You're his kids. So he's not going to let nothing happen to you guys. So you don't have to be afraid. So, do you guys get scared when you see some stuff? Yes, I know some. Say loud. She's so I used to be scared too when I saw them, but then they ended up leaving when I would say it. A lot of them, yeah. I remember one of them. It looked horrible. I didn't like it at all. Did Did any of them talk to you? One of them did, but I automatically just made it be quiet. And then that's when I said, "Jesus, take it away in the mighty name of Jesus." And then it's gone. You guys hear that? Yes, ma'am. So you know what to do? Yes, yes ma'am. So I'm going to pray over you guys. And then tell your mom, your mom has had to pray over the house and command anything, any evil spirit in the house to leave the house and to leave you guys alone. So mom's going to have to pray through the house, but I'm going to pray over you guys. So Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for these children. I thank you, Father God, for their covering. They are covered by your blood. Lord, I rebuke the spirit of fear. I bind it and I render it powerless. You will not hurt them and you will not harm them in the mighty name of Jesus. They are covered by the blood. You will not appear to them, evil spirits. You must loose and lead them. Oh, I come against you in Jesus' name. You will not come and harm them or, or, or scare them in the name of Jesus. No weapon formed against them shall prosper. And I thank you, Father, for covering these children and surrounding that house with angels and any open doors are closed. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Do you guys have any questions for Isaac or myself? Anybody got questions? I did have one question. Like, what if you still be kind of scared at night? Well, even though, like, before, when I first tried it, I was still a little scared, but then, if it doesn't leave the first time, then say it again. Say it again. Stronger. You gotta point at it and tell it. And then you have angels. So the angels are there. You can't see them, but they're there. Just tell angels, angels, take it away. Don't, and then just tell it, don't ever come back to me again. And when you, you see, when you talk, you see them get scared, it makes you feel more powerful. Like, you know... It's when you, they see you using the name of Jesus, they don't like that and they will run. So when you see them run, you feel better, right? If you see them run. So when you start seeing them run, you keep saying the name of Jesus and say, don't come back to me. Don't ever come back to my house again. Ever. Thank you. What Thank other questions? You. Any other questions? Anybody got any, anything else? No. No. Hold on. Well, uh, go ahead. I, I Isaac, wanna, I, Isaac wanted to tell you something. Go ahead. So, does the monster end up like standing next to your bed or somewhere near you, or does it like? Elijah, around? what happened to you? Explain yours. When I seen that last night, I mean not last night, that night, when I seen it in the room, it was like standing by the closet. It was somewhere near. Me. Okay, so that would happen to me, but it would be in different places. Because for me, sometimes I would be able to move, but then I would go to, like, my mom's room, and then she wouldn't be there. 
Then I went to go see my brother. And then I went to go check the closet, and it was right there. And I said it real quickly. And it disappeared, and then that's when I woke up. But, yeah. So sometimes Anybody? they come in your dream, and sometimes they'll be in the room, but you still have the same power. Even in your dream, you could tell it to go. Yeah. So nothing will you see in a month ahead. And God didn't give you a spirit of fear. What'd you Tell say? Bye. What'd you say, Denise? Denisha? No, she said, "Muffin, where, where did you see your um that monster at when you seen him?" Behind you the gotta window. talk loud. Behind the window. No, it was in the closet. No, she said his hers is behind the window. Oh. Yep. Well, she I think still I did see one in my brother's dream, but that was really long time ago. Wherever you see it, you tell it to go. Point at it. Go in Jesus' name. They're scared of you. Yep, just like that. Point at it. You leave in the name of Jesus. You go. And when you when you say Jesus, they're scared. They don't like Jesus is all powerful. They don't like him. Okay. What'd you say, Denisha? You say something? Huh? Did you say something? Um, what did I say? I do. Oh, was it last night? What when I tell you you was talking to God? Was that yesterday or the uh, the day before yesterday? I think it was yesterday. Well, yesterday, Jameer, he he started um speaking in tongues and he didn't know it, but he was saying only um la 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 la. That's okay. That's that's fine because yeah. that's how I sort of started when I was six, but then. After that, I ended up getting it right, and then my mom was surprised. It just developed. Wow. He just started speaking in tongues, and it started flowing longer. So let God use you. Amen. They're so cute. <laughs> Stop it, Anaya. Sit down. Anything Any else, guys? Question? Oh, yeah. yeah. One more question. Um, if you... When you be speaking in tongue and you like talking, like when you when you talk in tongue, when you, do you say your stuff that you really mean in your head, or do you just like la la la? Well, sometimes it just comes I'm out. Sure. It's just like you know, like a baby talking like da 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 ba 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 ha ba, and it sounds strange, but then you start thinking things in your head. You can start thinking right. Then sometimes that's God letting you know what you were saying when you were speaking in tongues because the Holy Spirit is praying with your spirit to God, the perfect prayer. So he's praying through you. So sometimes when you're done in your head, what you were thinking is what you were really praying. Then you could just start praying a regular prayer and you're usually praying about what you're, what you were saying in your tongues. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah me too. You didn't do that. <laughs> to my me too. Oh, cute. That's right. Go on, let God use you guys, little anointed <laughs> kids. <laughs> yep. So don't worry. It's going to all keep, just keep letting God use you. You guys are called by God. You are chosen and set apart, and He's going to use you. Okay? So let it develop. So if you have any other questions, Feel free to have mom call me or call Isaac. And we're here for you, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, kiddo. 